Greetings everyone! Today I'll be reviewing a lens that's quite exciting and unique, as well as being brand new. We have the Samyang 12mm f2.8 fisheye lens for full frame cameras. This is essentially a new, full frame version of Samyang's popular 8mm fisheye lens, one of my favourite lenses for APS-C cameras, and as such I'll be testing this 12mm version on a full frame camera. I actually got a chance to look at a pre-production copy of it at Photokina earlier this year, so it's exciting to finally have a production copy to test out. Fisheye lenses are famous of course for offering an amazingly wide field of view, 180 degrees from corner to corner, with exaggerated barrel distortion, giving you some beautiful and dramatic pictures and video footage. I secretly love fisheye photography. Now, some people might be asking why this Samyang device is classed as a 12mm fisheye lens, when other full-frame fisheye lenses by Canon or Sigma are classed as being 15mm. They all cover 180 degrees from corner to corner, right? Well, that's true, they do. But this Samyang lens, like its older 8mm brother for APS-C cameras, has a special kind of image projection. On a full frame camera it covers 180 degrees diagonally from corner to corner, but it also manages to fit in more footage on a horizontal and vertical plane, meaning it gives an even wider field of view than normal for a fisheye lens, and interestingly, it manages to do this without the middle of your image bulging out too much. So here's an example. The footage on the left is from the Samyang 12mm fisheye lens, and the footage on the right is from a Sigma 15mm fisheye. Both videos were taken from the same position. As you can see, the Samyang lens gives an even wider angle than the Sigma lens, but without the massive bulging effect in the middle. It's up to you and your personal taste which kind of image projection you prefer. But I really like the Samyang lens's projection. It's a much wider field of view, but the fisheye effect looks a little more subtle, which is pretty unique. This Samyang lens also has a maximum aperture of f2.8, so it can let in quite a lot of light, which is very handy for shooting indoors or at night time. It's also worth noting that this is a fully manual lens, which doesn't electronically communicate with your camera at all so you have to set your aperture and focus manually. Seeing as it's such a wide angle lens with a huge depth of field, that's really not a problem at all. Let's look at its build quality. We are dealing with a typical Samyang lens here. It's very solid and nicely made, while managing to remain nice and small. There's lots of metal in its construction, and the lens is dominated by a focus ring which turns very smoothly indeed, being well damped. Some people are spooked out when lenses don't have autofocus, but with a wide-angle lens like this, as I mentioned earlier, it really is no problem at all. You set the lens's aperture with an aperture ring, seen here. It clicks firmly between f2.8 and f4, and then every half stop between f4 and f22. The iris mechanism has 7 circular aperture blades, an upgrade from the earlier 8mm APS-C lens. That will help you to get smoother bokeh when the lens's aperture is topped down. The lens comes with a small bag and a large, encompassing lens cap, which fits very securely to the front of the lens. Also, the lens hood can be taken off, if you so desire, but you might as well keep it on. It stays fixed very securely to the lens when you do. As usual for a fisheye lens, you can't use filters. Overall, we are looking at fantastic build quality here, and as usual for a Samyang lens, it's a pleasure to use. Well, let's look at image quality on a 20 megapixel Canon 6D. At the widest aperture of f2.8, the lens is razor sharp in the middle of its images, with good contrast levels. Good start. In the corners, the lens is a bit softer, but you're still getting fairly sharp images without too much chromatic aberration, which is very nice to see on a fisheye lens. Stop the aperture down to f4 for a nice improvement, and at f5.6, the lens is very sharp and bright in the corners indeed, and of course, back in the middle, picture quality remains fantastically sharp. Well, overall, this is a great performance. 
The Samyang lens is easily as sharp as any other full-frame fisheye lens on the market, including Canon's 8-15mm L lens, and I'm impressed with its relative lack of chromatic aberration. And there's not too much vignetting. It really puts on a very good show. Let's look at close-up image quality. The lens can focus down to about 20 centimeters, which is not quite as near as some other fisheye lenses can get. However, the close-up image quality is very sharp indeed, straight from f2.8, so that kind of makes up for it. Stop down to f4 and we do see a touch of extra sharpness. Very useful. It's possible to get some slightly out of focus backgrounds with this lens if your aperture is set as wide as f2.8. The good news is that the quality of this lens's out-of-focus backgrounds, or its bokeh, is very nice and smooth, presenting us with no problems at all. Let's see how the lens performs against bright lights. On the downside, we see a drop in contrast with bright lights in the frame, but the good news is that we see very few artifacts and little flaring, which is, again, quite a good show. Overall, this is easily one of the best fisheye lenses available for full-frame cameras today. The Samyang 12mm f2.8 fisheye has extremely nice image quality overall, and its 12mm wide stereographic projection is both unique and very useful indeed. Its fast f2.8 aperture makes it suitable for photography or video work at night, or in other dark situations. The lens's build quality is excellent, the lack of autofocus isn't really a problem, and it also happens to be a very affordable piece of equipment. I always look forward to testing new Samyang lenses, as they have a habit of being generally excellent as well as good value. And using manual focus doesn't personally bother me very much. Samyang's 12mm fisheye lens is a beautiful piece of equipment and something that's pretty unique on the market. It's an enormously fun lens for full-frame cameras and it comes very highly recommended.